The leak of the so-called Panama Papers exposed the extent to which the world's rich and powerful hide money in offshore accounts. And the US almost came out of the scandal unscathed. But as transparency activists say, Americans don't need to move their money overseas. You don't really have to go to Panama or other tax havens. They are not the only ones making it possible for corrupt officials and other criminals to launder their money. You can do it in every state in the US. In fact, there are several places across the country which have very business-friendly tax laws and which are used as havens. One of the major ones is Wilmington in Delaware, which has a population of 70,000, but it's got 300,000 registered corporations. Many of those are anonymous shell companies, which can be used for the purposes of minimising the tax bill. Caleb Mopin went to find out how it feels to live in a tax loophole address. The Panama Papers exploded like a bombshell in the media. Scandal! The Panama Papers! The Panama Papers! They're calling it the Panama Papers. While Barack Obama has repeatedly called for a crackdown on tax loopholes. It's a tax code that makes it all too easy for a number, uh, a small number of individuals and companies to abuse overseas tax havens to avoid paying any taxes at all. But what about onshore tax havens? This small building in the U.S. state of Delaware might look pretty unassuming, but businesses love it. It turns out no fewer than 285,000 different corporations are registered in this building alone. Inside the building where Verizon, McDonald's, Bank of America, and over a quarter of a million firms, also among them ones owned by Hillary Clinton and by Donald Trump, are supposedly based. Have you ever seen Donald Trump in the neighborhood? No, I have not. <laughs> Never. Have you ever met Donald Trump? No, sir. Have you ever seen Hillary Clinton in the neighborhood? No. Haven't seen Hillary either. They both have businesses registered in that building, so you'd think that they might want to come and check on, you know, their corporation, their, their, their firm. You know, they haven't been around checking on their business. Uh, that may be the case, but I also don't think that anyone else with registered businesses here has come by either. Many companies don't use their primary addresses. McDonald's, Budweiser, they all have holding offices here. So right next to the corporate trust center, just one building away, we have the Delaware State Chamber of Commerce. Uh, this is an organization that lobbies state government here in Delaware about how to make it a business-friendly environment. I think a lot of things around here would be better if people who were utilizing the city and the state's you know, property addresses would actually contribute and give back to the community. The state of Delaware doesn't seem to be doing too well, despite having a building with at least one registered business for every four residents. We actually have half a dozen states in the United States that have learned how to play this game, that compete with one another to be more friendly to corporations, either giving them tax uh, loopholes of one kind or another, or allowing them to be secretive, to not reveal who is the ultimate owner of a corporation? Caleb Moppin, RT, Delaware.